Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I am up here in Whistler, British Columbia, staying at the Westin Hotel, one of my favorite digs to stay at while I'm up here. And uh, we've got a little bit of a fun day today. My buddy B-Rad's birthday, I think he's 31. We're gonna go up to the Whistler Blackholm Park on Blackholm Mountain, sorry, there's two parks, one on either mountain. And uh, just get some footage, you know, get some pictures of some dudes busting some serious shit. It's the XL Park, so there's always something fun going on. There's usually a variety of pros in there. And because the snow's been, uh, you know, non-existent this year, we have not much else to go with other than the park. So, I'm going to go pick up my good buddy Devin, who of course is the place where we host Hash Church from each Sunday. We've got to give a mad shout out to Devin for allowing me to roll up at 8.30 every morning on Sunday and just do a nice loud Hash Church. Got a big bag of hash here. I'm going to go for a little morning toot. Well, let's go for some, uh, some D420K. Always such a pleasure to smoke my good buddy's dry sift. Such kindness to share. I really, uh, I'm always shouting those guys out, obviously, because they're very worth shouting out. Okay, here we go. A little couple more pieces. Stuff's just stuck all over to, to the top of this. I love it. Got the mother ship. Fab egg in it. And, uh, yeah, let's get this wake and bake going so we can go back down to the valet. Get in the car and go pick up Devin. All right, let's go grab Devin. That's hey Mark. Yeah, I'm Ben. You're Ben. Yeah. How's it going, Hi, dude? Ben. In the Doing middle good. of. Uh, How about you guys? Yeah, not bad, you know. I had my car brought up and then I ran away. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Gentlemen yeah. here have the keys. Those got it. To today. I'm filming you guys on Bubble Man's World. Oh, Bubble Man's filming us. <laughs> yeah, I'm promoting the West End and how awesome it is to stay here. Thanks. Chris. Yeah. Thank you guys. I hope we're the ones who make it awesome. Well, dude, you guys, I just told Ben literally, he's like, well, it's not the nicest hotel. I'm like, yeah, but it's got the best people working here. You know it. 
Thanks, guys. Yeah. They haven't picked it up yet, so they can't find it. All right, sorry for the interruption, guys. But we'll see you soon. Right on. So this is the house of Hash Church. Hello, Hash Church. What's going on? Ah, uh, you were making some vaccines on your snowboardings? Yeah, I was just doing a quick wax, but I got all the gear there ready to go. Oh, no rush, dude. I'm just uh, filming a Bubble Man's episode. Uh, <laughs> what up? <laughs> what up? Good morning, Bubble World. So this is, uh, this is how we do in Whistler, right? Going to the park. Rocking in the house coat, waxing boards. Rocking in the house coat, <laughs> house coat, waxing boards. Got my robe on. Right on. You look like fucking Dumbledore from. Uh... <laughs> uh, that's smart though, dude. Doing it into the box like that. <laughs> that shit gets everywhere. That would be better if I had a nice station set up well, here. But next ideally. Round, no, but you have all this yeah, useless bikes, shit. Bikes you have all this useless shit that needs to be on this shelf. <laughs> exactly. Fucking like six batteries for fucking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, no rush. We're yeah. good to go. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll, I'll be down here. I'll get some gear on. We're out. All right. Sounds good. So this is the Hash Church house. This is where we I sit for Hash Church right here. First few, I sat over here. But then they got this nasty bong, and I didn't want to sit too close to it. I was like, yeesh. I have got to get out of here. So we set up over here. <sighs> of course, it's Whistler, so every house has a view. So I don't know if that's wet. No, there's wedge. The top of wedge is over there. Not quite. lake is right over here in behind the trees basically it's um, ridiculously warm for Whistler right now it's never this warm it's um, not in February anyway so uh, most of the snow has melted off the ground you don't see really any on the trees uh, even going up quite high up the mountain the trees are still bare so we're still gonna have fun today though I think uh, I'm gonna grab Devin and we're gonna head to the West Inn buffet they have this killer buffet at the aubergine grill so why don't you guys join us for that am i supposed to close this door is that my position yeah no i can what? There you go. oh it's just the uh weather stripping on there is thick so you gotta pull the door ah yes sometimes it props back open <coughs> one sec oh. i got it here the magic button the magic the button. Port. The West End. Are we, uh... Should we go right to breakfast? Sure, I'm down. Right, I'm not sure what we could do with our boards. I'm sure we just... Leave them somewhere? Yeah, That's know. what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere. That hurt. <laughs> but at least I stopped it from... <laughs> That hurt. That wasn't pleasant. I'm not going to lie. That was not pleasant. Most awkward board carrying. Yeah, let's do that. Of course. 
Dude, come on. That sounds like the way we roll. It's like the smartest <laughs> idea ever. Unless you want to go up and have a puff first. Yes, I do believe I do. Good sushi here, Kaze. Yep. Oh man. So Devin had the uh, brilliant idea of coming up and having a few dabs before we uh, head down to the buffet. So dab it up, brother. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole, hash in the bowl. Love that mothership. The Dinel rips just keep giving. They're like, oh, you thought you were done? You're not. There's more. Very good. Professional. As you can see, Devin has his hotel uh, puffing down pat. Simply put, exhale out the window. Now, of course, if we do have an inhale out the inside, we've got the fire alarm cover that every hotel comes with in the bathroom. They call it a... What do they call it? They call shower it a cap. a shower cap, but it's really um, a cover for the to, to the creative bug mind. That's it. That's a smoke protector. Protector. <laughs> I'm gonna dab one up. Dab it up. I'm gonna dab one up, brother. Might as well. Some delicious too too many different kinds of delicious hash to even mention. Super stoked for buffet, super stoked for Black Home Park today. It's gonna be good. And B Rad's birthday to top it off. <coughs> and B Rad's birthday to top it off. Sweet. Alright, let's record button on this. Alright, Deb's going in for a second. See the mothership man staring you down. Boombastic. Ready for a buffet? Two fingers in the air. I'm ready to mow down, bro. Yeah, let's go hit it. Yes. Two towers at the west end, east and west. To the north and south. What's that? Ooh, I'm looking forward to this food. Wow, I was gonna say, isn't it the what wasn't it the aubergine grill? Has it been that long since I've been to what to the Western? I can't keep up. The grill and vine. Please wait to be seated. All right, so this will, uh, look at the blue light. Got to work the white balance. There we go. We're waiting to be seated. Wow, they changed it in here quite a bit. How's it going? Has it really been so long that I've been here that you are no longer the aubergine grill, but you're now the... Yeah! Wow, okay. Cool. Excellent. Well, we're <laughs> Time excited. Time passed, isn't it? 
goes fast. It looks good. All right. Well, uh, welcome back. Yeah. Is it yeah. the breakfast buffet? Yes. Okay. It is. Would you perfect. like that, or yeah. do you prefer the card? No. Well, we'll do the buffet. Okay. That's great. Come on in. Thanks. Okay. Right. Thank yes. Great. This looks delicious. Oh my god. Great job, guys. Salmon, eggs, beans. How are you feeling about this? Stoked about it. Wicked, me too, dude. Alright, fruit plate with granola and berries. Beautiful omelette. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Here we go, bon appetit. Alright, so that was a delicious breakfast. Yes, that was, that was, bro. Brunch, felt like I had a couple breakfasts there. Uh, we're gearing up to go have a quick hot tub and maybe a steam sauna here at the West End. But before, I've been meaning to do a couple reviews on these units. Uh, originally, Jonathan from Wizard Puff sent me the V5OS vaporizer from uh, Flower Mate, I guess, or it's called the Flower Mate. Yeah, it's from Flower Mate, uh, vaporizer technology. And uh, he sent me this um, a while ago now, probably close to a month ago. Told him I was going to do a review, never got around to it. Volcano since sent me their Mighty, another vaporizer. And the reason I feel okay about doing this together is because Jonathan sells both of them at wizardpuff.com. So we're going to do a little review on these. And actually how we're going to review them is we're going to take them up the mountain today into the Black Home Park. Make sure we have them there with us so we have uh, an ability to medicate. So, which one should we try first? Straight to the flower mate. The flower mate, open her up. Open her up. Got my med tainer with a little bit of herb that uh, that I grew back about a year ago. Prepare that. I sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Spicy weed. So that's pretty yeah. sweet. Did you just uh, screw it on? Yeah, exactly. It just screws on, pops okay, up so the bottom. This little guy has a ceramic... I had a really good little, little book in here that you can do. So, give you a little idea on this vaporizer. It's portable design, fits in the pocket real easy. Advanced temperature control system ensures per pu perfect pu function and perfect or purest vaporization, we're going to see. Um, innovative vape way with three-way temperature setting. This I liked. So it's got a nice design to hold in your hand easy. It does feel pretty solid, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, now, level one, which if you push this button five times, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, blue light turned on, and then inside there it should, yeah, this little blue light on the outside says that we're at level one, which is 385 degree Fahrenheit. So we'll leave it at that, we'll let it heat up, we'll pack it in a second. Um, we can also move it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit by um, clicking it some more times. I, I'm not sure how many. That, that's on the next page to level two. And then finally a red color, which is 415 degrees. Pretty cool option for a portable vaporizer to be able to do that. I like that. Built-in lithium-ion battery. You can tell the whole thing's basically a battery. No plugs uh, to take with you. Huge heating chamber, huge ceramic chamber helps you get best experience. Okay, it's got a borosilicate glass mouthpiece, a little slider on top, cooling holes there with the green button or the green lights. Super simple. I guess uh, here, why don't we medtain her a little herb? I think it's as simple as just unscrewing the top and then loading the chamber. Hey. That was interesting. Vaporizers are always interesting in the sense that um, if you get them wrong, if you if you don't know how to do it, yeah, if you buy, pack it incorrectly, if you pack it incorrectly, or you do just the smallest thing wrong, you don't get the rip. So give it a rip. Let me see, and I'll find out what you need to do to uh, move that into different levels. Oh, 
That looks like it's coming out real nice. Milked up the little mouthpiece pretty nice. Showing them. That's a quality. Showing them up close. Well, this will be fun to have the Mighty and the, uh, the Flower Mate with us, the V5. How's that tasting on the lips? You getting some nice pulls on that? Yeah. Nice. Excellent. I'm going to pack a little bit more for the next unit that we'll try in a bit here. Oh, yeah. A little rip. Can we give it a shot? Nice. That was two in a row you blew up. Yeah. Three even. Yeah, no, it's not bad. <laughs> That's doable. Now they also sent me a unit along with this. When you come back, Dev, it's right beside the computer there, that little metal piece. Yep. I thought he said it was an herb chamber. Let's see. So yeah, he said this was another unit. I guess that you could attach on here somehow. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I guess this just comes out maybe. Oh yeah. That comes off much the way that comes off. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll have to figure out how to use this additional piece. Uh, it seems pretty simple. I guess you just go like that, put that in there. I'll figure out what this additional piece is uh, later on for you guys and make a point on showing that to you. Um, yeah, not a bad little unit, you know? Pretty small chamber in the sense, but if this is an additional chamber, like an XL chamber for larger amounts of herb, which I think it must be, well then that's pretty cool. Gonna try and hold the button down for three seconds. Moved into the next color, it's kind of a purple. And so that tells me now that I'm gonna move up uh, above 375 degrees or 380 degrees, whatever it was, uh, and get myself into, yeah, 385, so now we're gonna go up to 400. So 15 degree temperature raise. Not bad. Not bad at all for the flower mate. I can push it one, two, three, four, five more times and it shuts off. It is quite nice and small. Um, this would have been a bummer had it not been unscrewable because you just snap that thing off in a hurry. And then you can, uh, you can close the unit, which is also pretty cool. You can close that unit right up, boom. And then on the bottom, the mouthpiece just goes right back in and closes. Not a bad little unit. Yeah. Probably good for warming the hand too, feel it. Oh, yeah. Hey, out on the mountain? Yeah, that'll heat you up. All right, so that's pretty cool. Flower Mate, we're gonna have that with us today and uh, we'll let you guys know how many hits we get out of that and how well the battery operates and etc. etc. All right, and we'll figure out this giant herb chamber as well. I think it's an, a an added herb chamber, I'm pretty sure. So Now from Stores and Bickle, from the good people uh, who brought you the volcano. Geez, that must be going back to 1999 or 2000. So this is called the Mighty. It's, uh, I guess, their premier um, portable unit. I never expect anything but sort of Exceptional quality from Volcano. Uh, say what you want about the unit, but it is quality built. It's got an incredible warranty and they last a long time. I know people that have had them for well over 10 years. Uh, so this is a nice little uh, design here, the Mighty. It's got a 
nice little design. Got a digital screen, I'll peel that plastic off. Uh, comes with, as Volcano used to sell back in the day, this little guy here, which is a screen pad, and I guess you can put that in there and that way you can use concentrates. Here's the unit itself. When you push the power button on, it vibrates, much like a cell phone. And then you've got your bottom temperature, which is the temperature that it's going to go to, and then you have your top temperature, which is the temperature that it is at right now. And this unit's pretty simple. Uh, it's got a cool little mouthpiece right on the top here. Uh, you can twist the entire thing to open it up to reveal the chamber. And now, if you were going to use uh, concentrates, you'd put this little fat screen right inside there and then drop your um, concentrate, full melt, dry sift, whatever, on top. Uh, the unit obviously has a screen on the top here as well, and that just screws right back into place. Super easy peasy, also very handheld and portable. And we're going to, Devin and I are going to load it up right now and let you know uh, how it tastes. I have to say the taste on the um, flower mate was pretty darn good. Yeah, man, that one's brilliant. Ceramic through glass. I mean, uh, that thing's awesome. Not yeah. too shabby at all. The size of an app, everyone's like daily iPhone. Yeah. Well, I guess some of those new ones are massive like yours, but yeah, that's like your average one. It's true. Oh, that smells nice. Not bad it does. All right, so here we go into our chamber. I like that they made this very wide, big open chamber so that as you fill the herb, uh, you can, uh, you know, try not to miss and get herb everywhere, even though I still generally do. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little blast out. A little blast out. All right, so we've got 195 degrees Celsius, which is, geez, it must be about 420 or 400 and something degrees. I guess I'll give this shot at first. They did give us also a grinder, two little grinders. Not yeah, really my style. style. They're kind of plastic grinders. I guess probably people would be pretty stoked still, I guess. They, oh, yeah. You know, knowing them, it's... I don't even know what that is, actually. I, mean, I don't think that's a grinder, dude. High-performance vaporizer. That's like a component or something to it. Oh, that is tricky. A component? That one looks like a grinder. Oh yeah, filling the ground herbs. This is just trippy. Yeah, the other one's a grinder. I'll have to figure out exactly what this one is. See, this is what this is. Remember when it was saying, filling and filled with ground herbs? That's what this is. Ah, so it's the, it's the helper. That's what he was using to fill the unit. Somehow, come on, how does that go on there? Wow, okay, this is a cool thing that I'm just sort of discovering now. It looks as though they have a way to fit this on top of here, and so your ground herbs just naturally go right into the chamber without you having to do what I just did, like an oh, idiot. That's awesome. So yeah, we'll check that out in a bit. I'm going to hit that's this unique. for now, because it's heating up. Something different for sure. That was a nice tasting rib. Interesting. Mmm. Very flavorful. It had, the unit had just turned off, but I still got my, my hit. I guess it's got battery saver. I believe you got two large lithium-ion batteries uh, in either side, and then just the middle is the actual vapor vaporizer unit. Then you have the screen. It's a pretty cool little unit. The screen, or the opening, the, 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 the straw is quite big. It's not like restricted at all. You really get a full flow of vapor. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. That last rip I took, I was hauling on it, kind of breaking my intuitive knowledge of vaporizers and that if you suck too hard, you create cold air that cools the unit and gives you less of a hit. That just did the opposite. I was pulling on it quite hard for my whole hit. I wasn't doing the slow and steady. I was just doing the vacuum and that was a really 
exceptional vapor rip. Um, obviously, these units are in different price ranges. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the price range. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do that research. I think this one, for some reason, might be around the $300 uh, area, and this one might be around the $100 to $150, maybe $200, not sure. They're both quality units in that sense, but so far, for rip, for rip, this thing has given me the most insane rip. The mighty speaks for itself. Yeah, that's quite something. Well, we'll bring both of these up on the mountain. Uh, actually, we'll bring them out to the hot tub right now and let you know how they do around a hot tub and if one gets wet, see if it gets destroyed or see if they're, you know, we'll just test them out as we straight do. Straight to the test. Straight to the test. See so, if they're uh, waterproof. See if they're waterproof, exactly. <laughs> There's all sorts of things I don't even know about this unit. <laughs> this thing I just found, the little cleaner, right at the bottom. All right, there you go. For cleaning out the... And wow. I can't believe this thing. Mighty is a good one. The mighty is mighty. <coughs> <coughs> awesome. Can't go wrong with the mighty. Should we hit that hot tub? Yeah, I'm down. Stay tuned. Super cooked. Oh, shit, we gotta come up here and have a buffet. What's that? Yeah. What's the CCPPA? Annual meeting. Hope we're not late. Here's the mighty. Look how it just fits into the surrounding atmosphere. Not standing out at all, but just really a real nice little unit. Flower Mate's no slouch either. Exceptional little unit, nice and small, in the hand, not worried. All right, put that key in the. Uh, yeah. Open sesame. Yes, open sesame. Not totally cool. Nice and empty in here, which is ideal. Which is ideal when you walk into a bathroom with your camera on. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Thing off, man. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna have our first uh, bubble session. Uh, I was just joking. So, all right, steam room is equipped with the steam. Let's push that button and get that steamer on. Let's turn the light on. I guess they're working on one of the showers. Pretty sweet rooftop showers, too, though. All right, they got these new lockers. You just push the, the code in and you can get a free locker. Eucalyptus steam, then we'll come out, take you out to the hot tub and have a session. All right. All right, that was an exceptional steam eucalyptus. Let's, uh, let's head out to the pool and hot tub area. The Weston, uh, well, let me change the light for you guys here. That's no good. There we go. So they also have a really nice sauna room. Not huge, just a tiny little guy, but 
It's quite nice. Get your dry heat on. Got a nice indoor hot tub next to a nice seating area. And then they have um, an outdoor pool, an indoor pool that goes to the outdoor pool. And then a nice little hot tub over there. So what I was thinking is that I would hang my... Actually, I'll put it over by the hot tub. Alright, this pool is about as warm as a hot tub right now. And I don't think it'll go so deep that I can't walk all the way over. Yeah, Whistler lifestyle right here guys, dabbing it up. Actually we're going to end up using those vaporizers that we have over here. Sitting by the hot tub. Ooh, yeah, that's warm. That is warm. The mighty vaporizer turned on here, 45 degrees Celsius. You're just in time for a mighty session, bro. Oh yeah, mighty mighty. I got the mighty all packed up and ready to go, and uh, yeah, beautiful day. I like how this thing gives you a nice big full battery read. Six battery bars on that. Not sure if you guys can see that, but there's six of them. And we're at 100 degrees Celsius already. And I can start to smell the herb in the unit. I think it's a good idea to go saw bubbles while we film our sesh. Hey, you should show everyone your crazy fucking Whistler collarbone. Oh yeah, I'm right on camera. Oh yeah. Look at that fucking thing. That is some fucked up, there it is, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you come shred hard enough, you too can have a collarbone like that. But you gotta earn it. 160 degrees Celsius. It's not <laughs> something you really want to earn. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not something you want to earn. Dude, how sweet is this? So nice that they closed the whole place for us to film Bubble Man's World. Oh, yeah. Totally. Shout out to the West End for uh, shutting down the pool area and the hot tub area so that uh, we could film our little episode and tell you how awesome they are here at the West End. From all the people, the staff that work here through the kitchen, um, and the hotel, the valets, they're all really super good people. A lot of them shred the mountain, and uh, I see them outside of work, so yeah, shout out to all you guys. We have reached temperature. Did you hear it vibrate? Yeah, long stop, ready to go. Mm -hmm. This thing gives incredible reps when you hit that. <coughs> Sprout and looking good. Off in the distance. <coughs> Jeez, I guess you could easily have a rubber sort of piece on the outside of this thing, like a membrane, and you could easily hold it with a wet hand. I'm sure you could potentially even hold it with a wet hand, although there is an opening right here to the uh, power unit, so keep it out of water, folks. They don't claim waterproof.
Oh, that's just darn good. Tasty, too. That's the Astro Boy. It's really tasty. Yeah. Even old herb, that's over a year old, and it still just ha has that wicked taste, doesn't it? Nice little high from it, too. I was just gazing here for a second. I know. You keep looking behind me like there's someone there. Oh, no, there was a dude standing there, but it was all good. I was just going to blow it out. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> One of the beautiful things about having a federal license here in Canada is as long as you're not uh, obviously breaking anyone's personal rules, business rules, or um, offending people uh, with children and such, that it seems to be a pretty safe bet that um, doing a small amount of vaporizing in an area that's not affecting anyone and not cha and not affecting even the place, it, I think it's a good thing to allow people to do such things rather than make them feel like they have to uh, go hide to simply medicate. Particularly for some people that, you know, it really just requires a quick one or two rips before they can sort of self-regulate themselves back from either an anxiety attack or a s potential seizure, uh, you know, tremors from, with people from, with uh, MS. Man, that cool wind is nice, isn't it? Yeah. All right, shutting, shutting down the mighty. I'm gonna go put that one away. Talking to my wife. All right, well, we do have the flower, mate. I guess we might as well just get her done, son. Aye, aye. Nice steam right into a hot tub. I like this, I have to admit. <laughs> that little sort of uh, little cubby hole to keep it put away in. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed with that. All right, so that closes back up. This simply opens up. All the herb is still in there nicely. I'm still always one to give it a little blow by blow. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. We'll get our blue temperature. It takes a few seconds to heat up. Now this one's a little more simple in the sense that it doesn't show us any temperatures. Um, we know that there are three temperatures, uh, the blue, the, the pink, and then the finally the or purple, and then finally red are the three options. I thought the second one was supposed to be orange, but I could be mistaken now that I'm all uh, vaped up at the hot tub here in the Westin. And that cool wind is feeling proper. Mm -hmm. Man, that's David. Yep, it's absolutely. It's going to be fun on the mountain. It is going to be fun on the mountain, isn't it? Oh, that's ready to go. Oh, I bet. It doesn't take much for it. That taste is exceptional. You really can taste uh, a difference in the ceramic to the borosilicate as opposed to the, um, I guess, I guess it must be ceramic into more of a plastic composite that uh, uh, the vaporizer guys are using. They also have a bigger straw, and I feel like I get a bigger rip. But I'll tell you, herb, vaping the same herb, there is almost a sweeter taste in the first... You, you took the, the first few rips the last time, so I didn't get that sweet taste, but this time I, I got it. Here, let's hold this for three seconds. I'll turn that to the next color. Yep, there we go. Wow, it beeped like a cell phone as well. I guess they're all doing it. So yeah, you can see the little the little uh, flasher's got a little sort of pink side to it as well. And we could even go three more seconds, and then she goes red. And now red is a 450 degree um, temperature that it's going to go up to. We'll see if we can taste the difference in that rip. Just beeped again, I'm guessing that means it got up to temperature. So this unit is quite fast in regards to how fast it gets up to temperature. Um, nice and portable. I'm not sure that it would survive a drop in the hot tub, nor would the other unit. So if you're going to be jumping in the hot tub this uh, winter uh, and using these units, please be careful and don't expect them to cover any warranty damage if you get water into them. That's why we don't have the bubbles on here. So. So far, so good. Pretty impressed with both the Flower Mate and the Mighty. Love the taste on both of them. Love the portability. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long the batteries last once we have 
the session that we had, the session that we're having, we're probably going to have another one in the gondola, and then eventually we'll get up to the bike or the bike park, the the the, the park, and we'll see if the batteries are still going and allowing us to take rips up there. Large and charging. Large and charging. See you guys on the mountain. All right, so we're finally heading out for the day. Pretty much just beautiful weather, hey? Oh yeah. Looking forward to some park laps. I haven't really looked what the new job we did on the car because it's actually way different. Well they sure did. That looks completely different. At least on the outside. I wonder if they did any interior work. Heading up Black Home? Yeah. No? I don't think so. I think I got everything. I wouldn't say no to help. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, oh, this little rickety old tin can, hey? Oh, yeah. Holy smokes, compared to the new Whistler one. Little change of pace. I like the old rickety cans. Yeah, me too. Just very different. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just um, put my tripod through the window. <sighs> Well, it's official. It's hot as fuck. Yeah. So that's the Whistler gondola over there. Big glass roof. Whistler Mountain come, coming down. We are heading up Black Home. So the Black Home gondola does not make it all the way to the top. It's going to take us to Excalibur? Yeah. Excalibur. Which will be nice because we'll be out of this hot box. Excalibur to Accelerator, I think it is. I think the Gandhi's called Excalibur. Right. Top is Accelerator. Speaking of hotbox, we could pull the mothership out and do a dab. Or just use the vape pens. Or just use the vape pens. God, we got oh, opportunities here. Vaporizers. It's the gondola. Ah, uh, yes. So there goes Whistler Village. Bye-bye, Whistler Village.
Cougar Mountain. There's a mountain biker. That's insane. It's still February. I know. 24th of that matter. Dude, whatever. I'm going up right now without gloves in a hoodie. Yeah, I know. I want to thank my boys at uh, Tricome Heavy Extracts for the hoodie today that will be uh, keeping me warm up on the top of Blackcomb Mountain while we're uh, enjoying a little park session. Alright, so we're coming into mid station here. And I guess we're getting off, huh? No, we're staying on. Oh, yeah, we're staying on. Wow, it's been a while. Alright, we go up to Excalibur. Or no, is this, what is this called? It says Excalibur. That's what I'm saying. So, what does it go up to? Accelerator. Excel Accelerator. Yes, Sweet. Hey, guys. Bubble Man's world. Incredible for this time of year to be this high up the mountain. There's the ski pool jumps for the summer. That's the wizard chair. Over there, all the streets like uh, Spearhead Drive and Painted Cliffs. There's some nice condos that you can rent over there if you want an on mountain experience. This doesn't look very good though. Look at this, dude. How barely it is. Oh, I know, man. Wow. Looks like it's the end of the season. It does look like the end of the season. At the end of February. Sure hope it's not. So uh, it is one of the cooler things to look at all of this and just think this is what we ride down. We ride down here. We go through these trees. We go everywhere. There's boulders and big gnarly features. Fallen trees and such. And the snow just covers them all up. I mean, I can't imagine coming down these cliffs on our boards without that snow. I'll tell you that much. I'm finally getting into the into the snow line up here. Mm -hmm. This seems like n naturally a snow line that they didn't have to push down. Pretty unbelievable. God, would this mountain be fun on a dirt bike? Imagine in the summer if they just did it for one week. They invited everyone with dirt bikes and they set up monster courses. And they just did a huge dirt that, bike event. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it? I would so support that event in any way, shape, or form that I could possibly do. Oh, there we go. Let's give them the view. So, there we go. What is that, Alta Lake? <laughs> yeah, that's Alta. There's the Whistler Village. Say goodbye-bye as we head up, 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 and away. Sweet, sweet. Nick's up there. The crew. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, well. Huge lines up at Accelerator. Massive. Shit, dude. You're gonna be there for hours, bro. Dude. Holy Christ, is it warm? Well, I should thank Nico right now, Nico. Shout out to Nico here on the uh, top of Black, well not quite the top of Black Hole Mountain, maybe about a third of the way up or halfway up. But Nico had this board made and given to me at the Salomon factory in France, one of the last boards to be pressed there. And uh, if you check it out, he actually got my name on there, etched in, that's on the inside, so I can't remember what it was called, a G-stick or something, but absolutely beautiful board. Uh, I remember KLM charged me an arm and a leg to bring it home as extra baggage, but man, what a nice gift, Nico, so thanks a lot, bro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're thinking about you here in British Columbia. Alright, Monsieur Devon. 
Ah, just in time to answer it. There's Whistler looking majestic over on the other side. Damn majestic. All right, well, let's head over. Wow, nice tune job on the board. Thank you, brother. I feel like I barely fit through that thing. How's it going, dude? Pretty good. Excellent. It's a rough life up here having right now. <laughs> here, why don't you hold this? And I'll uh I'll get a vaporizer ready for us. I mean why not, right? The gondola just felt a little forced. Yeah. So we'll go this style. Reach down, see what we find first. See there's a big speaker. There's a shit ton of dry sip. Wow, I really have this bag packed pretty good. A little deeper. A little deeper. You find the mighty. Hey, mighty, how you doing, buddy? All right, let's turn the mighty on right off the bat. See what we got in the med tainer. Shout out to Johnny Beer Fellow with his med tainers. Not very often that I use them. I'm not really able to shout them out because I really don't use herb that much, as most of you would know. Nice and clean in the chamber. Pretty easy going in the sense of how to how uh, cleaning it and then reloading it. Even the wind is a little bit windy up here. It's not completely windless up here, and it's still pretty easy to load up. Not feeling overwhelmed. The one finger clean. The outside is all nice and clean before you screw the top on. This way so we don't lose it. And got 133 degrees so far if you can see that not sure but uh, yep, we're good. about another minute of enjoying this view and then we're gonna have a nice little session with the uh, mighty here on the gondola so or this chairlift sorry uh, I'd have to say how easy it was to find in my bag unload and reload turn it on get it up to temperature and then here soon to take a rip I'm pretty impressed with that it also feels like a durable unit like if I dropped it Maybe on a day like today where it's hard packed, it would probably break. But on a regular day where the snow is just, reg you know, normal, nice and soft snow, it doesn't feel like dropping this would be saying goodbye to it. It feels like you could come back down and get it and, you know, it could potentially still be on. So, right, but let's have a rip. It's a solid size rip. I'm impressed because um, it's a cold wind out here. The chamber really has to be sealed well and containing its own, own heat well because it's a nice cold wind in my face right now. Oh yeah. Brother man? Yep. Pretty good easy use for a chairlift unit. Great taste on it too. <coughs> Can start to feel the temperature difference up here now. I wouldn't by any means say that it's cold, but you can definitely feel the coolness in the air from all the snow that's present now. That and the fact that the chairlift seems to be rocking at a good clip. Not bad on the mighty, hey? No, not bad at all, dude. Not near, bad at all. What's that? Near the end of that hit. Give it a shot, you might be surprised.
Well, how do we turn it up the temperature, like you said? Just oh, oh yeah, just with the, this one is really like easy. This. Yeah, just like the up button. Click. Yeah, get it up to 200 if you like. Chairlift rips. Sweet. Hey, maybe we could uh, get them to stop the chairlift so we could just enjoy ourselves for a few minutes without the wind. Hey, would you look at that? We stopped. Good fun up here on Whistler Mountain. Just beautiful. Can't wait to get you guys into the park and show you what some of these uh, what some of these guys are capable of doing off of uh, off of some of the features in there. You've been having quite a bit of fun in there in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been good. Enough. Well, since the sun came out, but it's still been bulletproof. Uh, it's still nice, so it's good. It's I fast. guess from 12 or 1 till 3, it's uh, <laughs> it softens up a little bit in the sun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's soft spots and there's still their icy patches. In the shade, it's still solid. Here, oh, it's bet. still cold up here at night. And it's nice, you just got to, to speed it to uh, temperature. I heard it go zzz, zzz. Yeah. Like a text coming in. It's uh, We're already designed to um, react to, the, to that very sound of that particular vibration of what many iPhones sound like when they uh, are vibrating. What a freaking beautiful day. Now we're getting near the top here, a little bit closer. <coughs> and where do we head from here? Down to... Well, let's go down to Jersey. Down to Jersey and then up to the top of yeah. Cat Skinner, is that what it's called? Uh, Jersey and then we'll be at top Cat Skinner and Solar, yeah? Yep. Alright, just in this top shelf here, look. Yeah, just fold the little piece in and get yeah, it in there and then, and then I turn it off. if you can just get this, manage to close it all around, that would be awesome. I like just giving a real honest review, having it with us, pulling it out throughout the day, using it and letting people know, uh, you know, what they, uh, we'll get a few other people that have never tried it before to hit it as well and see what they think. That'll be of course the mountain device. before the mothership gets pulled out because you know I got my mothership in here. Hell yeah, I brought the mothership on the mountain. Are you kidding me? People are like, why do you bring your mothership with you? I'm like, so I have it with me. Doesn't that make good sense? I had my bag grab the other day on the peak chair. I had my helmet and my goggles hanging off of it. My goggles kind of went down and snagged. So I was I was pulling for a bit, but I managed to get them off before uh, before it fell. So I just got so much shit, it's awesome. Heading up a little higher.
So this will be that that one cold chair <laughs> where you kind of feel it. The rest will be in the sunshine. Yep, then we'll it's get nice up when into the sun's nice. on you. Sure is. Sunshine, sunshine rigging. Yeah. So we're getting into a little bit more of the gnarly part of Blackcomb. Getting up, 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 up on the left. There's a Blackcomb Glacier up in behind there. Can't see it, but it's there. Super stoked. All right, so the last little section here. We're heading over there. On the other side of that ridge is where the uh, Black Home Park is. And then over here is where the Black Home Glacier is. It's pretty gnarly cornice up there. The whole mountain top is a cornice. God, it's not many people on the mountain, hey? Incredible. It's surreal actually. Wouldn't want to be dropping those cliffs today. Nope. Even on the pow days, I don't care to really drop those. <laughs> I've done those on a pow day, it's kind of fun. Oh, I've done them, but. They're just not your style. Ah, they're steeper. I guess I should tag in. Okay. Well, I'm doing everything but tagging, like tying my. Sh <laughs> Never mind. I'm. I'll be fine. All right, then, Mango. Uh, I got this lens, but. I'll take it. Did you want to just take this bag? Yeah. Oh, well, when we get there. Yeah, right? I'll take it right now, dude. Okay. Fuck, well, dude. Come on. Got that and this, the towel. Right? Okay, well, I'll try to just, you know. At least have the towels in there so it's like. Keep it there. safe. That's all it's in there, but just your lane. No problem. Gentlemen's. 
Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. <laughs> what do you guys say? Fry guy. UFP in the train garden. I didn't even recognize you. Did you knock out your teeth or you got a mouth guard in? No. I wear a mouth guard so I don't knock out my teeth. Good. Good job. Good job. I appreciate that. All right. Well, this should be fun. I have a wrench concussion. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I have such a detox. I uh, not really interested in coming up, I don't think. What are you going to hit? The jump on the right? Yeah, the jump on the right. Then I'll probably go sit on the knuckle there. Probably be the better spot. What's next? Okay, I'll follow you down. A day in the park. The black hole park. Yeah, buddy. Croppins.
Can we go back? He Edgar Casey'd. Thanks, man. <sighs> nice run, dude. Yeah, not a bad first lap. Yeah, with a huge board, bro. That's what's getting me. What is that, like a 168 or something? Well, this is the 5'2", the 5'2 that they have. Really? The smallest prize they have. Wow, why does it look so huge? Just well, the shape? Just, the, the nose is just big on it, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sure liking the Solomon. Yeah. Sure fun, but then again, I'm not... Uh, I'm just trying to keep it together with all this equipment in my uh, hands. Two backpacks yeah. and two cameras. <laughs> yeah, nice rope. <sighs> yeah, nice fun day. Jumps are fast right now. I bet. She's solid landing, but fast. It's good for them. Get yeah, back there. Jesus. That was pretty serious rotations he was doing. Yep. Ran away. Nice to see. Just a, a full lineup of people hitting it, eh? Non stop. Now we got the skier. Whistler, a lot of talented riders. Endless amounts, dude. It's kind of ridiculous. Slays in all the arts. Here we go. This is the one where we're gonna get the baller angle. Was who the cameraman was waiting for. Yeah. You could tell he was jumping. Yeah. Pretty big jump right there. Yeah, what buddy. Did you say 20 feet? Yeah, buddy was double. 20 feet, that's bigger than 20 30, feet. 30, 40? The, the table, the table top, like, yeah, that's where you're pushing. Jesus. If not. More. Super steep landing, too. People are just standing there waiting for someone to hit it. Oh, buddy. Backflipping in the last few days. There's been tons of people on it. It's probably this group. Well, I'd love to get oh, some yeah. footage of that. For sure it is. It's like my Franz and them. They all got their Red Bull helmets and all that jazz on. Oh, yeah. Repre representing. Oh, yeah, they do. So they're hardcore. Do, 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 do. It's a good day for it. It's fast. It's awesome park, dude. He's not hitting it, is he? No way. What's that? Oh, is that what happened? That's why everything's held up. Brutal. This is the dangers of the bike car, the Whistler uh, Snowboard Park here, guys. It's uh, our Damn, well, I hope he's doing okay. I hope he gets better. Hate to see that. Young kids all crumpled out on the... on the bottom of a big jump like that. It's definitely no games up here. You know, you come into this section of the park and you better know what you're doing. And even those that do know what they're doing, sometimes you can... Uh, you can get rocked. He's up. Good to see. Good to see. He was knocked out for a while there, I think. Outdoor sports are very dangerous.
doesn't stop us from doing them. Tuck it in the park. Yeah, I just go and stand in the park on some days like this that are solid. Man, how did this dude get crushed here? Brutal. It's I mean, damn, it's a flat area. Solid day over there. It is a solid day. Maybe, he, had to, maybe he came up the lift and he had to get taken down. I'm going to try and put that backpack on the back of my backpack. We're going to hook it up a different way. Okay, I'm thinking... You want to do another full run or do you want to go sit on that knuckle and get some shots? I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of footy. You lead the way, because you, you can get us to a good spot, I'm sure. Oh, we're gonna I'll just stand right in front of that snow gun there. We can just sit there. All right, well, let's do it. Even over by the snow gun. Probably as good a spot as any. Break up mother and get some shots still. So. Oh, those are heavy bags, not gonna lie. I'll say the one thing that's a bummer is I did forget my Water. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe someone will pull up with water. Well, if we need to, we could do a lap and then go into the rendezvous and get water in there. Hey? Yeah, I guess we could, hey? We'll just finish the. We'll do a cozy run and then we'll come back to another run. And we'll Never like to see it, but at least he's on his way to get help. Yeah. <laughs> it's like motorcycle gangs or something, hey, the shredders? Yeah. The different groups? They, come in. they just come in hot. It's like, oh, those guys aren't fucking around, man. It's the Whistler Park crew. No joke.
I've always had fun coming in here and getting pictures. There's some exceptional riders that come in here, and if you set up your shop properly uh, and you get the right mountains in the background, ooh, some man, good ride riders. you can get some pretty amazing stuff. This is a spot down right down here that I'd, train, no right here is where I'd like to sit, right near that chair, and snap some, some good shots. My 200. Alright, so we have stopped due to our forgetfulness of not bringing water. It's hot. Oh yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, you still can. Yeah, we're doing video pictures. We're nice. gonna grab some food, but I guess they're closed. Pretty much. Yeah. That hurts. Uh huh. Oh well. I'll have I a got glass a of water. cheese and crackers. I wouldn't say no to a little cheese and crackers. All right, I'm sitting over by the window. All right. Well, we're coming to join you with our waters. Yeah. Hang out with Timbo. Surprised you're not outside. Sorry? I said, I'm surprised you're not outside. Uh, was it just for yeah, I don't know. Talk about crazy timing. How have you been? Oh, real good. How about you? I see in the Very good. postings there, you're, you're a lot of stuff, a lot of traveling. Yeah, I go to Jamaica a lot lately. Oh, cool. Cool. Got to go there actually next week. How's that for a nice little dessert in between? That's just like epic right there. I'll take it. Oh, good bump in India, Tim. <laughs> Seem to have buggered off. What's that? Said I do not see any in sight. Oh well, we can uh, go down and do the denial session quick. Yeah. Maybe quickly go down to that big Kong even and get a, f a video or a few pictures before the denial session. Big Kong? What? Well, not the big Kong, but the second, the big jump. Oh, jump. Right. So. They're usually over in those trees over there. Yes, or those trees over there. It's funny because we rolled up here, they were here. I saw them flying. Oh, yeah. I guess they're going to catch the last little opening bit of the mountain. I'm cool, let's go check it out. Let's uh, go hit the park. Yeah, I'm thinking of where. Did you want to? Yeah, you need to stop.
Wait, should we get the mother going? I think we should get the mother going. So, we got the dry sift, we got the wet wash, we got the water, we got the dabber. I got more shit up here than I know what to do. With. I think I might be the only person ever to have brought a mothership. <laughs> exactly, up on a ski hill. Up. Oh my. Onto the ski. Excellent. Beam me down, Scotty. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> I'm as high as I can get. At 6,000 feet. <laughs> or whatever we're at, 50. Yeah, probably Something. 50. Okay, so we got the water. We're not rookies. We were rookies, we're not going to lie. We didn't have the water initially. We went up to the rendezvous where we bumped into Tim. Thanks for the cheese and crackers. Mm -hmm. Gotta love Whistler, Whistler hospitality. Alright, almost done. So obviously we can't have the D-nail up here without bringing very heavy batteries in my 40 plus pound backpack. It's, it's already... Heavy enough. Heavy enough. So, <laughs> want to hold that for a minute? Yep. We'll gear up some hits. The hard part about this always is warming the hash up to the point where it softens up. Oh, yeah. So you can kind of uh, get a little dab maybe. Yeah, here, check this out. I'll show you what we're getting here. Alright, look at that. Oh, it's flake? Yeah. And that's dry sift too, it's not bubble hash. How is it processed? Uh, just mechanical mechanical separations via screens, you know, oh, just wow. bouncing uh, yeah. bouncing resin over screens, and then of course uh, you know some more techniques in regards to, to yeah. further refining and cleaning or decontaminating the resin. Yeah. All right. Pretty stoked about this, dude. I gotta say, I like that whole design you did there too. That was good. Yeah. That was the proper way to transfer a function. We got helicopters, we got motherships, we got one person after another behind us hitting these different features. Not bad. I always find the torch is a little bit difficult to deal with outside because you can't really see what it's doing, but I'll operate it by the sound. So we get that quartz heated up nice and hot. Great grip. Or a dab, as the kids are calling it these days, Tim. Oh, yeah? A dab. A little dab will do you. Yeah, this little, is what they say. This is a brilliant team commercial. Brilliant yeah. team totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's like some 50s and 60s <laughs> shit right oh, it is. there. Even before that. I was going to say maybe even 40s, eh? Yeah. Brillo or br Brillax or Brillo? Um, brilliant team. Brilliant team. All right, well, I'm gonna give this a shot. Go for a dab of whiskey here right now. Doing a fine job, fine job. Dabber. Yep. <coughs> we'll get you a piece. A little flake. That flake pack. <coughs> Such a sweet place to, to spend your days. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my goodness. It's so epic. Like, truly, people throw that word around like it's nothing. Like my new stereo system's epic. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Your, new, your new stereo no, system is not, not epic. epic. Like it was amazing. No, no, no. No. It was not amazing. It's cool. It can be cool. But epic. It could be done. Let's leave epic for such things as 
mountains as far as the eyes can see. You know, a slice of humble pie is so big, yeah. it'll kill you in an instant if you uh, leave floor. The whole day. Yeah. Torch you up. Make sure I pick him up. Cat's gonna just grab my bag and screw the pick people and just grab down. Even if you want to, after this dab, go and rip down and get it. Yeah. Well, if, if we got enough time, I'll stop him and do that quarter pipe again. Oh, yeah, get that shot. Try and get right on top of it. Open for the shot. You're taking as much as fast as you can, I think, quick, quick. I'm not even sure how hot we got it, but... Oh yeah, he's getting hit. God, you gotta love the quartz. My torch just died. It was scary. Torch died. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not a big torch guy. Trouble in Whoville tonight. I got the electric down at the, the car. <laughs> the electric nail. Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Definitely not. Wow. I got the heat back here. Beautiful. Well, do you still have that uh, charger cable? I haven't used that uh, little mini hitter. I have to bring it. Oh, no. It's a USB one, right? It's the one that screws up. You have a trippy stick? Yeah. Yes, I know exactly. <laughs> Day for the drums. We're good. I was sporting my Hitman hat today under the old goggles. But I wasn't jumping. Devin was. Woo! Airborne. Good to have the bucket when you're airborne. Sir. Freestyle terrain, look at that. Free ride. Session smart and enjoy. Well I think I think we session pretty smart up here, wouldn't you say? Of course. We had the mothership. And as you can see, feeding your endocannabinoid system shouldn't just be looked at as the negative stereotype of like, oh, they're getting stoned. It's called feeding your endocannabinoid system, tuning in. You know, it's helpful with meditation. It's helpful, obviously, with a guy like Devin, who, who wouldn't uh, put himself in an, any unnecessary danger. He still feels that he's safe to have a rip or two and go and do some of these jumps. Feel that it helps you a little bit? Yeah, well, with a collarbone like mine, it definitely helps. Yeah, just to... ease some tension and pain for my injuries. Sure. Makes a big impact. Give a little Especially bit more. Like CBD. Give a little bit more on the uh, flexibility, too, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. That it does. Helps with a lot of injuries.
Oh yeah? Well, we're looking at the north face of it. We are. We're the not going to be going down that face. The south face will be lit up. That's actually. right. I think so too, man. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. I'm easy. I like the idea of taking them across the peak to peak and showing them a little bit of the uh, that. Yeah, tour. Yeah, I got it. It's a beast. Good. Stoked we caught this. Oh, yeah. This has to be one of the last cabins, eh? Yeah, I got five more minutes, too. 415. Yeah, good. Good to know. All right, yeah. Very good. Peak to peak. The big peak to peak. We just missed the sightseeing one with the glass bottom, but I'm over it. Okay? I think we've been in it enough times. Oh, yeah. Not what the hype's all about. Well, it looks like we're going to have our own cabin. How fun is that? Maybe I'm a little loud, too. Right on. Thanks, dude. this for fun? All right. I think this is pretty going to be pretty freaking awesome, Devin. Yeah. Possibly. Just the two of us. And our Debs. Oh. All right, guys. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Hey, you feel the power of that first little dip. So I say we pull out the vaporizers. Da, da, da. We unfortunately da, da, da. didn't get to rip with Tim. That kind of bad. Wow. I really feel the motion of that. I've never felt that so strong before. Awesome. Peak to peak gondola, dude. Longest one in the world. 50 million bucks. Un. Unbelievable. So awesome. Warm in here. I'm gonna open the back, that's the problem. 
we gotta open these back windows. Get a little bit of a So you got about 11 minutes on this gondola from one side to the other, taking us from the top of Blackholm over to the not quite top of Whistler, but uh, damn near close. Top of the gondola, roundhouse. And we're getting right above the, uh, the river down below, which is where uh, Shane McConkie, when this first opened, uh, I believe he did like a backflip base jump. Him and Eric Rohner, yeah. Eric Rohner was here too for that? Yeah, they both jumped off it. They oh, both jumped cool. off it. Very cool. Maniacs. R.I.P. Shane McConkey. Legends. Yep. Every day goes by on this mountain and many other mountains where people aren't thinking of those guys. Paved the way. The Mighty's just delivering great reps. I've got to say. Although I think that one might have it on flavor. That one's a real, almost a connoisseur model, isn't it? Yeah, it's tasty, that's for sure. Well, we're definitely hitting tasty vibes. Oh, what's the turn up? What's how you turn this you one? Hold you hold that for three it? seconds. Oh, you just hold yeah, it for three seconds. And then seconds. it'll turn, uh, it'll glow. Yeah, there you go. And you'll see two colors glowing in it. Purple on one side and blue on the other. Gotcha. And then you hold it for three more seconds to get it up to 4.15, which it will go all red. My unit just got up to temperature, and I felt it vibrate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that sun is be right. Can't even really enjoy the view that way. Almost have to look back. I look over there. I mean, that's really the most epic right there. Very nice. Flameful all the way through. Well, it's been a good Bubble Man's World episode today. Riding at Whistler, hanging out with Devin, showing you guys a little bit of the locals' life. It's pretty good living up here, even when the snow was sparse, which I can't believe it right now. I just kind of came to grips with the view. Like, I just kind of realized, oh my god, there's no snow at all. Except over there, there's plenty. I'm showing those mountains. What's that? <coughs> spearhead Traverse. It's all the spearhead. And that's Overlord at 12 o'clock. That's so beautiful. 
Want to go into the back country? You can head all over there. This is the back of the Singing Pass. And I guess back here you have Oboe and Cowboy Ridge. That's on Whistler's side. It's over to the right, right? Yeah, that's all on Whistler's side. Yeah. And so, but this all just must tie into it. That's like Decker and all that to the left coming from Blackhawk. People have been doing that for a while, haven't they? Going into that backcountry zone. How's the vapes, man? All good. I might hit mine again. Well, that's a really nice feature right there where it's kind of vape on demand for a while. I mean, mine did just turn off now. Still giving pretty nice rips. in it so you can unscrew it from the top and still put it away inside and even if it's hot I'm sure that it doesn't really uh, yeah it's awesome it's not much problem Who's that? Like Patty and all that. Oh, you want to go say hi? Yeah, might as well stop by and say hi. Sure. What's that? We're just going to grab them. Just letting you know they're not serving anymore. So. No, no, for oh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. They'll spend the next 20 minutes trying to kick Patty out. Whoa. No, I'm sorry, that's it. Everybody? Yeah! 
Nice. Getting some cool shots right now. Hell yeah. Bubble Man's world. <laughs> so these are Whistler locals. Yeah. They hang out and they drink beer and sometimes smoke marijuana. Yeah. Often using terms like shred and gnar, sometimes in the same sentence, like shred the gnar. <laughs> What's up? Doing good, man. Oh, dude, we missed that. We didn't get it on camera. Yeah, he fell off the chair. Do you require first aid? First <laughs> aid. Yeah. Psychological. Uh... Do you give mental aid? Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how drunk is Brian, uh, Ryan right now? I'm going to say 7.2. Ooh, a solid 7.2. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big one. Hey, are we too early for groomers? Are we going to get some groomers? Oh, pulling the birthday card over there. Hey, isn't it your birthday, Patty? Next, yeah, next Monday. <laughs> oh shit, it really is. Yeah. It really is, eh? <laughs> daily though, daily. <laughs> this is the time of day when the drunkards. Hey! Oh, yo, who ain't got the money? Whoa, hey. Hey now, hold there. A week? Come on, 12 grand a week? A month? No, I don't know what he gets. That'd be it. unbelievable. Oh, yeah. That'd be some EI I'd be signing up for. Yeah, maybe him and Devin combined. 12 Gs. This is a slow rail today. Yeah, you're really not making it fast, are you? It's open up here. End of the day open. No, don't worry about it, bro. One's just going down, one just came up. I guess we could go hit some groomers if you guys want to get some freshies. You know, I think we'll be able to do the seventh day. Yeah. I think we'll be able to fly in the sixth, stay the sixth and the seventh, and then we'd have to leave the eighth because we, well, we fly out, we fly out. Like Listen, four, it would be four. pretty cool, dude. I've never been to the. To cup. see you in the grill at a at the cup that I'm speaking at and judging. Will you be judging on that day or the last day? I don't know, but we'll hang out. Oh, fuck, for sure we will. Regardless. I will get eyed to the pie. I fucking I. Yep. I agree with that. Let's go, stud. Damn, it's a Denka. I know, eh?
What? <laughs> Dude, I was bombing there. Yeah. Fuck it, no bucket. Bucket! Yeah! Try holding a bunch of cameras! Everyone's going straight down? I'm, you guys, yeah, Dusty's, I'll meet you. I'm gonna go to Red Chair. I'm gonna go down Red Chair and go to uh, the Westin real quick. Yes, we will, gentlemen.